In this tutorial for new Blender users, I'll show you how to create simple animations using uh, different shape objects. And I'm using version 2.63a. Alright, so I have a simple cube in the scene, centered at the origin. And what I want to do is I want to animate it based on different shapes that I create for this object. So instead of just being a cube that's moving through the scene, maybe I want to create a cube that's changing shapes and moving through the scene at the same time. So that's what we'll try and do. All right, so so with the basic cube set like this, let me uh, just scale it down a little bit like that. All right, for here. Well, before in some of the other tutorials, we've used the, uh, we've used vertex groups over here through the object data button. Well, that's the location we need to go this time. But instead of using a vertex group, we're gonna use the next, little area down here which are shape keys and that controls the shape of your object alright so we'll just press this plus button a couple of times once gives us the basis shape well, I'll get to all of this it just means your main shape which is in our case this cube and we won't modify that we'll leave that as it is and I'm gonna give it a couple more I'll kick this I'll press this three more times with the left mouse button so I'm gonna set three individual shapes in here for this object and the first thing I'll do is I'll change this first one here this is always the basic shape is going to be the square and this one I'm going to scale say on the x-axis so in order to do this you need to be into edit be in edit mode so I'm going to press tab and then I'm going to press X s I'm sorry and then X and I'm going to scale them on the x-axis like that and then I'm going to press tab and it goes back to the original shape but I just scaled it. But it's there, I assure you. So notice next to key one, and we could give it a name. Well, in fact, let's let's type it key one scale on X. Like that. And then notice it has a value of zero. Well, zero represents the value of your base original shape like this. And here it says zero for key one. Well, this zero still represents the value of this base shape. But if you were to change this zero up to one, it will represent the value of this key one state. So if I move this like this, you'll actually see it fully up to one. It gives me the full shape at key one. And it shows it as one there. All right, so that's how you actually look at them like that. But we'll just keep the base shape for the moment. And then we'll go over to key two and I'll give it a name and I'll say key to scale on Y. All right, so I'm at key two, I'll press S followed by the Y key and then I'll scale it up like this. But that's not gonna work. Remember, I gotta control Z that guy can't forget. You have to be in edit mode. So S and then Y and tab out of edit mode like that. So now key two is set and we can verify that there it is there and then I'll click key 3 and I'll call that key 3 scale on Z like that and in the same way I'll come up into here tab into edit mode press S followed by Z I'll scale it on Z like that and I'll tab out of that and we'll verify this from 0 to 1 like this now if I left actually if I you can see it's 0 to 1 if I left that at 1 came up to here put that at one, came up to here, and put that at one, you see what it does, it affects all three X, Y, and Z like that. All right, well, that kind of might clue you into what we're gonna do when we actually go try and animate this shape. So I'll put them all back to zero, but that kind of gives you an idea for the individual keys. So you're setting individual shapes of the object using individual shape keys in here, and you don't want to touch that, you just leave that alone. Okay, now that we have those set, we need a way to animate it. Now, before when we did an animation, we animated uh, the object using the graph editor, but we don't want that in this case. We do need a new window, so I'll grab this and create a new window. And instead of the graph editor, this time we need the dope sheet. Okay, and then within the dope sheet, it actually doesn't come up, but it doesn't show up. It shows up like this as a dope sheet by default when you first bring it up and it was there since I was there before you have to click this menu and come up to the shape key editor alright and so it now knows about 
these three shape keys, key one, scale on X, scale on Y, scale on Z, or what these values are. And here's your same zero values that are set over here for each one of the keys like this. And you can also come over here and just move this and you can look at your values here. So there's X and there's Y and there's Z. Now notice what it's doing, it's changing it yellow. So essentially it's setting a keyframe in here. Let me move this down, let me move the timeline down just a little bit. See our scene a little bit better. So it's setting a keyframe as I move these along. All right. So I've just set a keyframe, but I left it since I left it down at zero for each one of those. That's what the object's going to look like at frame. Ooh, frame two. Oh well, we'll just go with it. Frame two. So in this case, we'll move up to say frame 42. And at frame 42, I'm going to just change the x value. So I'm going to change it up here on x scale on x tells me what it is right there and it set that keyframe it changed it yellow let's go up to 82 and then in this case I'll change it on y but I want to turn x back down I'm sure you see what I'm doing now at this point and then at frame 122 we'll change z up but we'll change y back to there and then we'll go all the way up to 162 and from there we'll just change everything back down to zero and so it's setting the keys for us and you can see which ones it's setting because in this case it's we ch it shows us what we're changing as we go the basis key always stays the same up here right but in here you can see we changed x we changed x and y we changed y and z and then here we changed z back to the beginning shape. So theoretically, of course, when we run it, you should see these things change when we press Alt A. And let's see. Well, I'm not sure I did that right. I started at zero for each one. I thought zero. It's scaling up on X. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Let me just step through this. It's saying that scaling on X. In this case, it looks like it's scaling on Y and Z. I didn't say to scale on Y and Z. Let me sip. Let's see. I did something. I goofed something up. Y. I'm going to put Y back down there. I'm going to put Z back down there like that little thing and then cruise up here and then this one I was scaling on alright hang on from here I wanted to scale on X only and then here I wanted to scale on Y only so at frame 82 there I wanted to scale on Y only but Z has gotten set somehow I goofed that up okay and then I'll continue on Okay, I think we've got it. Okay, now let's run it. Okay, that's better. All right, well, I think that gives you an idea what to do. Somehow I messed that up, uh, but we'll leave that as an exercise for you to figure out because you're becoming pretty good at Blender by now. All right, and pretty soon you're going to be telling me what to do. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.